What's up guys, I'm Paul and welcome to my channel. So is Wix a good option for building the e-commerce website? Well, that's what I'm gonna to look to answer in this video by doing a few pros and cons of the Wix platform to see if it is a good option for e-commerce. So let's jump into the video. Now, before I get into the pros and cons, I'm just gonna say what Wix actually is because Wix is primarily designed as a website builder and e-commerce is an additional functionality you can add via the Wix stores app. So unlike things like Shopify and BigCommerce that are designed for e-commerce from the ground up, Wix is a website builder that adds e-commerce functionality through the Wix stores app. And that does have a bit of a bearing on how good it is for e-commerce. So the first pro of Wix is the price. There's no getting away from it. Wix is extremely reasonably priced. In fact, their business VIP package comes in at $49 a month. Now this is if you buy it annually. If you pay for it monthly, it's slightly more expensive, but still $49 a month for a fully hosted e-commerce website is still pretty good, especially the fact that you get no transaction fees, there's no annual turnover limits, and there's no limit to the amount of products you can sell via Wix either. So in terms of pricing, it is extremely good. The second pro of the Wix platform is the theme selection and customization because Wix offers a massive selection of free themes and for their online store there's actually over 100 to choose from and these themes are really well designed and they do look very good. Also they offer really good theme customization from their Wix ADI tool and that stands for Artificial Design Intelligence and it's a recent addition to the Wix platform but it's made a massive difference to the customization options that are available because it is so easy to use and you can use it on multiple pages on your website to create a really good looking website. Now I do just want to quickly jump into the cons here and that is the Wix Advanced Editor because it basically allows you to do too much when it comes to theme customization and I know you're saying Paul how is that a bad thing but because you can make lots of little changes you can drag and drop things here and there make lots of minute little changes you can spend many many hours in the Wix Advanced Editor making all these small changes and basically when it comes to usability of your site, it doesn't make a fat lot of difference. Instead, it's much better to just use the ADI tool. It's much simpler and much easier to use and you don't waste hours making basically pointless changes to your website. The next pro is the amount of features you get, especially when you consider the price of the business VIP package, which is $49 a month, and the cheaper packages that are in the mid 20s, you get a lot of features for your money, including marketing tools, SEO tools, and also general e-commerce tools. There's a lot of features to choose from from the Wix platform, and this is really good to say, especially considering the price point of the Wix platform. The next pro is the setup guides. I really like the depth that Wix have gone to on their setup guides because they have made it really easy for people to get started with a platform. They've got some very simple basic guides, but they've also got additional prompts further down the page and also their documentation is really good as well. So for people who are just getting set up with Wix, there is a lot of information available within your dashboard to help you set your store up. Now before I jump into the cons, if you want to see a more detailed breakdown of the Wix platform, I have done a full in-depth written review of the platform that's available on my site paulchannel.com and I will leave a link in the description to that because it goes into much more detail than I'm going to go into in this video. So let's jump into the cons and the first one is something I think I'm on my own with and that is I don't find Wix particularly easy to use. Now for me, I'm used to jumping from platform to platform, whether it's e-commerce platforms or website builders, I'm used to using lots of different pieces of software, but Wix is one of the few ones where I find myself having to either Google things or delve into their help center to try and find a guide on how to do it because I just don't find it particularly intuitive to use. And I think there's two main reasons that I've identified for this. The first one is I find the dashboard is quite cramped. There's a lot going on when you're in your admin dashboard and when you're moving your cursor around you'll see pop-ups appear when you happen to scroll over something and it kind of distracts you from what you're doing because you think oh what was that that I just missed and generally I just find the dashboard is very cramped. I think there's a lot going on there and I would just like to see it simplified so it's easier to use and the second reason is Wix have seemingly tried to hide how to do certain things within their dashboard. I'm not sure if this is intentional or just the way Wix is set up. But one example of this I will give you is trying to add a third party payment gateway, something like Stripe or Square. And the way you have to do this, you have to go through a couple of additional pages over what you do to set up either Wix payments or PayPal. 
and the buttons to actually click through to these are a pretty light blue color and a pretty light gray background and this means that they don't stand out the way you need to click to add these additional payment gateways and the fact that you need to go through a couple of additional steps it just seems like they're trying to hide it and they're trying to push their own Wix payments gateway and I kind of get that to a degree but I'd like things to just be easier on the platform put everything out there and make everything up front and easy to do and this also expands to the Wix website as well there's certain things that are just hidden on the Wix website and that leads me into con number two which is the hosting and performance of the Wix platform because there seems to be some issues with it now when it comes to the Wix platform they seem to offer good hosting but trying to find information about this is actually really difficult because I managed to find that they offer 99.8% uptime and also have a CDN but I actually had to google this to find it out it wasn't immediately available on the Wix website and I don't get why they'd hide information like that because it's a selling point but there does seem to be some issues with the Wix hosting and this is evidenced by my performance testing where I've taken some customer example sites and run them through some performance tools and Wix didn't perform very well. There's definitely some issues there in terms of load time and also performance in Google PageSpeed Insights which is a pretty big indicator of how good these websites are and how well they're going to perform. And as speed and performance are not only a ranking factor but also impact user experience this is a pretty major con for me is the fact that their hosting environment doesn't seem to be very good. Now the next kind is the Wix support and not so much the quality of the support even though that can vary depending on who you speak to but actually trying to contact the support because they make it extremely difficult to do so and I'm actually going to show you on screen the process you need to go through in order to contact Wix support and even though this might look pretty quick on this video this took me over 15 minutes to figure out exactly how to do this and once again I just do not like the fact that Wix are trying to hide things and make things more difficult than they need to be. Now the final comment for this video for the Wix system might be a little bit of a strange one, but it's the reports that are available. And this is because as business owners, we wanna have good information so we can make educated decisions on our product line and also our marketing strategies. And usually the more information, the better, but Wix seem to have taken it too far. There's way too many reports available within the Wix system. And honestly, I think if it was me personally, I'd spend more time trying to decipher the data that's available to me rather than being able to actually make the educated decisions that I want to for my e-commerce store. It's very much a fine line between having not enough information and having too much information. And Wix have definitely gone on the too much side, which is a little bit disappointing because some of their reports are actually pretty good. There's just way too much information available. Now before I give my final thoughts on the Wix platform, I do just have a couple of quick requests for you. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like on the video because it does help the channel out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And secondly, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do by buying me a coffee using the link in the description and that is very much appreciated. So is Wix a good option for building an e-commerce website? If you're building a brand new e-commerce website from scratch, I think there's better options out there. This is because platforms such as Shopify and BigCommerce are designed from the ground up to be e-commerce websites. Whereas Wix is a website builder primarily that adds e-commerce functionality. And it just means for fully fledged e-commerce websites, you may find that you're running short of a few features. But if you have an existing Wix website and you'd like to add e-commerce functionality to that site, Wix Stores app is definitely something you might want to consider along with Equid, which is another e-commerce option for the Wix platform. So that brings me to the end of my pros and cons video for the Wix platform and say so I hope you found this video helpful and if you have please drop a like on it because it is very much appreciated. So make sure you stay awesome guys and I'll see you in the next one.